What is up everyone and welcome back to more Sword Art Online Season 3. I am here with my reaction to episode 20. Now the last episode, um, well, Yu-Gi-Oh got laid, I guess, I think. He got something. That's for sure. So he ended up with the administrator, which I think was probably because of that weird jester looking guy. I think he basically threw him up there so that uh, the administrator could have her way with Yu-Gi-Oh. And she was definitely playing on his weaknesses like his desire to be loved by his family and things like that and now she is going to love him forever how wonderful now don't forget if you want to watch the patreon style version of this video to head on over to my website suzylu.co.uk and become a vip member and if you're watching this on youtube please make sure your ad block is switched off and that you are subscribed to my channel all right let's watch this Kirito, did you carry me all the way up here? Damn right I did, and it wasn't easy. Maybe a thank you or a... Uh, what are you doing? How disgusting! You're completely drenched in sweat! And you have stained my garments! He just saved your life? What? Alice, come on! Where did he get the rag? To put on her eye like that, though, as well. I wonder if he just, like, ripped off part of his material or something. But I'm loving this new bond between Kirito and Alice. But I swear, if it turns out that in actual fact, um, Kirito maybe did kiss Alice or whatever when they were younger, we're gonna have some serious problems. From the cloud top garden, there is a stairway leading up. Before reaching this floor, however... He would have had to face our strongest knight. Yeah, and who would that be? Uncle. Or rather, Commander Bercoli. That's the thing. This strongest knight as well. And Yu-Gi-Oh won. That's the thing. I didn't see that coming. Object ID. WLSS 703. Discharge. What are you doing that for? I'm trying to find where the Blue Rose Sword's at. If I can find it, I'm gonna find him. Well, he isn't currently, like, he's in bed with a woman, so probably D&D. &D. I managed to stop the bleeding, but my sacred arts can only do so much. Do you think you can heal your eye yourself? There is not enough sacred power in the air. I cannot repair it until Solus has risen. I am still feeling some pain. And depth perception will be an issue. I can relate to that one, being blind in my left eye. <laughs> I wish to feel this pain. It is the proof of my resolve to fight the church. I am fine. Okay. I just can't wait to get our Alice back, because I don't like this I am really tough, okay? I just don't like it. I'll make sure to protect you right. So, you're not gonna kill Kirito then, Alice? <laughs> Told you. Is Yujiro the one responsible for this? I'm pretty sure it was him. I mean, remember how he activated perfect control on us before? To be honest, I didn't think it was this powerful. It can't oh. be. Uncle! <sighs> oh, they just left him there! I don't know why I assumed that they would have moved him. Years ago, Uncle told me that Prime Senator Chudelkin had been granted the authority to turn anyone to stone. An art called Deep Freeze. Really? But they're supposed to be on the same side. Why would he betray one of his own knights? He believed there could be no peace in the realm without the rule of the church. So he continued to perform his duties regardless. <laughs> So even the slightest bit of doubt is probably going to get you turned to stone. God, the administrator, she's pretty weak, huh? Uncle! No, you mustn't try to move! You'll destroy yourself! Stop it! Oh no! No, 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 no! It's going to crack! <gasps> hey, little girl. Why don't you cut out that crying? A smile suits you better. Uncle. Like an 
with you. I guess you made it over that wall, kiddo. For 300 years, I tried, couldn't break the seal, but you did. There's nothing left for me to teach you. What are you saying? That is not true. There is so much I need to learn from you. It's not even about teaching, it's about having you with us. <gasps> you want to find your partner, Prime Senator Judelkin. He took him. <gasps> Heading to the Pontifex's chamber. Hurry. And it's too late because Yuji has already changed. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. <gasps> His sword. I don't know why, but I figured he would have it. <laughs> Some have tried to wield two swords before. Mostly pretentious upper-class noblemen looking to impress. You, oddly enough, seem rather imposing. <laughs> well, if there's one guy that can easily wield two swords, it's that one. I remember waking up in the Pontifex standing before me. She said she ruled the human empire on behalf of the gods and had summoned me to serve their will. Her eyes were like mirrors, silver and reflective. I did not realize it at the time, but I do now. I was terrified of her and I knew I could not defy her. My question is though, did she make you touch her boobies? The same as you, Gio. Irrelevant, I know. Time is short and we still have to reach the Pontifex. The Prime Senator will try to stop us, so prepare yourself. Wait, what about the commander? We can't leave him like this. If we catch Chudelkin, we can force him to reverse the spell. Or we can kill him and solve the problem that way. No, we should totally reverse the spell. Because he seems like such a nice guy and he's got this story with the dragon and everything. You know what these senators do? They monitor the realm. From their chamber, they observe the words and deeds of every citizen to ensure they are not violating the taboo index. So that's how they managed to get to Alice as quick as that then, because they are monitoring absolutely everything. So even though she touched the Dark Realm with like just a finger, you know, they were still there. Is this where they are? Yes, it should be. Okay, be careful, Kirito, because she's devious. That is a sacred art. Doesn't sound like an attack spell. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, we were born ready! I was ready the moment that they took Yu-Gi-Oh, to be fair. Huh? What the hell? Look again, their bodies seem to be attached. <laughs> that is nightmare fuel! That was a senator? Have you seen one before? Yeah, back at the academy. Right after we fought Ryos and Umber, he appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, because they're always watching. They're everywhere. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble because we're in here? Ah. Oh, is it like feeding time? Ah, ah, uh, I actually feel quite sick. Don't know why. These miserable creatures are the senators? What a horrifying fate. Did the Pontifex do this? Wow. Oh my god. They're just like vessels that just... Oh no. Unforgivable. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Isn't that the jester? Who's that? The Prime Senator. Judelkin. This cannot be happening! He's so colorful! I would love a bedroom like that. I need to grow up. Why? 
I am no longer number 30. <laughs> you! Why are you here? Number... I mean, Alice, why is your sword not embedded in him? Don't you remember? He's a heretic, a traitor, a bone of the dark territory! You are literally such a liar. Wow. You miserable knight! You wish to betray us too! When I tell you to do something, you damn well do it! You are nothing but a puppet! All you knights are! You are literally being held by Alice right now, and you're still flapping? She could just punch you. Made us believe the myth that we were knights, summoned from the heavens. <laughs> yes, you are correct. I remember the day we turned you like it was yesterday. That you were so young, so innocent, so cute, begging as tears streamed down your cheeks. Are you seriously gonna be this cocky right now? He is so dead. Why, just thinking about it again is going to keep me awake all night laughing hysterically. As I recall, you were brought here from some backwater town and trained as an apprentice for two years. You were so rebellious. Once you snuck out to see the Midsummer Festival like a tomboy. Wow, so that's why she has the memory of that. You should have seen your face when you realized you'd never see your home again. I wanted to turn you to stone so I could display your precious grief in my chamber forever. <laughs> my god, can someone just kill this guy? He is such a cocky asshole. Honestly, you were the most insufferable brat imaginable. You gave me no choice but to divert the automated senators from their normal duties, then have them conduct a ritual to pry the door open to your most precious memories. It was a bother, but I shouldn't complain. I got to see an incredible show! <laughs> Kirito, please take your sword to this guy! He deserves it! You had a lifetime of amusement from my suffering. Now, at the end, I hope you are satisfied. <gasps> I have had enough of your dribble. And you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I was not expecting that! <laughs> I honestly, I thought he was being far too cocky. Where the hell is he going? Hey, wait up! We need to be smart right now. He was chanting from here a moment ago. The hundredth floor is above us, so perhaps he fled there. But how? Okay, but I don't like the look of this room. I feel like spikes are gonna come down from the ceiling at any moment. Great, another integrity night. No, that can't be. There isn't any more. Please don't be you, Chiyo. No! You, Chiyo? What the hell? Oh no! The hairs are standing up on my arm! Oh my god! Your friend, Yujiyo, <laughs> seems to have already been synthesized. I know! In like a day! If that! Like what, an hour? I don't know! Why? He fought the commander only an hour ago. Then... it's not possible. Wait. Not him. What are you doing? Do not lose your wits now. There is still a chance we can save Yujiyo. There is? Yeah, but doesn't that mean that we're gonna have to fight him though? Therefore, it should apply to him as well. The important thing now is you stay calm and get hold of yourself. Yeah. No! Be careful. He is not the person you once knew. This is what? not the fight that I ever wanted to see. You I ain't rooting for anyone. We've been together ever since we left Ruled two years ago. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Thank you, though. No! For what? 
for returning my sword to me, huh? Oh, well, you remember your sword! Incarnate arms! How'd he do that? He used an ancient art taught to Integrity Knights. It is neither sacred art nor perfect control. It allows one to move objects at will. Only a handful of knights, including Uncle, have the skill to use it, though. It is not something a newly created knight like Yu-Gi-Oh could have mastered. So then how is he doing it, Alice, huh? I will fight the both of you. <laughs> it is <laughs> what my lady that. wishes. Oh, come on! You're gonna fight me, your friend, all cause she told you to? That's no reason to fight! It is reason enough for me. She gives me everything I ever wanted. And she is all I'll ever need now. Oh, you need to snap out of this, boy. I don't care who either of you are. I've had enough. Snap out of it. You've had enough. We only just met you, fool. If he kills Alice, this will be the upset. Like, the biggest enemy betrayal ever. You don't remember. But I'm the one who taught you how to fight with a sword. Keep that in mind. Because I'm about to teach you another lesson. Oh, no! No, this is horrible. I just didn't think they'd be fighting! Why? Why did that episode feel so short? <laughs> Oh, that is awful. As soon as it came down, and I was like, there shouldn't be any more Integrity Nights after that. I knew then, I was like, it's gonna be yu gi -Oh. She's gonna use yu gi -Oh against them. And that's horrible. Cause I, it's funny, like when I first started watching this season, it took me a while to warm up to Yu-Gi-Oh! But now, like 20 episodes in, I'm just like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god! And yeah, like we're coming up to like the, the end of this first DVD that I've got, like episode 24, I think it's like the last episode. And then we move into like a different arc within this season. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, if something really terrible happens to yu gi -Oh at the end of this, I might never get over it. <laughs> you know? I don't know. And then when it comes to the very end, where they start talking about, like, coming back into the real world and stuff like that, I'm gonna be really conflicted. Because I've had all this time with yu gi -Oh and Alice that they're real to me. They're not a consciousness or AI, whatever you want to call it. Like, they're real people to me. So, yeah, I just keep thinking about where the show's gonna end up heading with that information known, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like thinking that something really bad is gonna happen, but guess I'll just have to keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!